Welcome to Culture Screen, where we analyze culture through countdown. I am an avid reader and can remember being one since I was a child. If you are a reading enthusiast like me, you are in luck. This episode is on the best app available for reading books on your Android device. Read Era is the best reading app for Android, period. It is free to use and you can opt to pay the $10.99 for the premium version if you feel you need the added benefits which we will discuss at the end. Read Era allows you to read books without being bothered by advertisements. With Read Era, you will be able to read all types of files. You can read PDF, EPUB, Word documents, Kindle files like Mobi and AZW3, DJVU, FB2, Text, ODT, and CHM file formats. The app also allows you to read graphic novels and comic books that come in the CBR format. You can freely start and traverse the app without being asked to sign up, log in, or create an account. Whatsoever. Read Era can also auto detect all of the books and documents on your phone automatically if you choose. You can also navigate into a specific folder where you can house all of your books together. Personally, I organize all of my ebooks into categories just like I do my physical books. Read Era allows you to organize your books by authors, you can create a collection of your favorite books, and any books you would like to read soon can be added to the to read collection you can put any book article or comic into any of these types of collection categories once you click on a book read era also allows you to see the quotes you have highlighted on the first page that pops up on the top right you can go right into the book and it continues right back on the page where you last left off on the bottom of the page you will see a list of all of your quotes in the page by order of appearance from the beginning to the end of the book. Once you click on read on the top right, you can then click on the center of the page and the toolbars come up on the top and bottom of your device. On the bottom toolbar, we see your total reading progress in the book so far. And on the top toolbar, you can search the document for any specific word or letter. On the next button, you can toggle a menu that lets you jump between chapters. And lastly, you have a settings menu button. In the settings menu, you can change how the pages are to be flipped, either vertically or horizontally. You can change the color mode that you'd prefer while reading, such as day, night, night contrast, sepia, sepia contrast, twilight, and the console. These display options are extremely useful, especially if you read for long hours, or if you are in a dimly lit or completely dark area. Read Era also helps you save in overall memory usage because it does not make local copies of the books it detects on your device. It also keeps a running record of any highlights or edits made on all books. So if you accidentally delete your document for whatever reason, all you have to do is simply download the book onto your phone again, and when you open back up in Read Era, the app will load up your quotes and highlights that is stored in your phone's memory. Read Era's premium version allows users to see their book collections in library view, change the colors applied to their quotes, and you gain access to additional fonts and styles. Lastly, you'll be able to download Read Era Premium on all of your devices as well. I spend a lot of time reading and can honestly say I have had the best experience on the Read Era app. I don't have to switch between multiple apps to read different formats. I can read nearly any ebook file on this single app. All of my quotes are saved at the start of each book, making it extremely easy to keep track of my highlights. All in one place. Lastly, the app has a beautiful premium user experience regardless of you paying or not. And the best part is you can try it for free. We upload new videos every week, so subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the like button as well. Click the notification bell to be notified of when we upload these videos. See you on the next episode of Culture Screen.